Hey all, Cyber Alive here. So I wanted to go ahead and touch upon a brief subject that has been garnering a lot of controversy regarding Persona 5. Uh, as you can see, I do have it pulled up onto the screen here. Um, this isn't exactly something that people should be happy about, to be perfectly frank. So let's go ahead and just read through this real quick. This is from Atlas themselves regarding Persona 5 streaming and content creation. Oh boy, it's a big day for Atlas today. It took us a while, pause for winter 2014 joke, but Persona 5 is finally out in the West. Seriously, we poured countless hours into making the game as perfect as it can be, and words can't explain how excited we are for you to fall finally be playing it. Some of you might be saying, well this is just a PR speak. Yeah, I, I, I could see that. But I'm telling you it's not. All of us at Atlas and in Japan and America worked our freaking butts off to make sure Persona 5 is worthy of having the Persona name. We know that this game means a lot to our fans and we are literally so so happy that you can now suit up with the Phantom Thieves and cause some havoc in Tokyo. Word of advice to newcomers of the game? Deep breath. Make sure to check your calendar and not wait until the very last day to steal someone's treasure. Remember to send out a calling card beforehand or else only profound sadness awaits. Oh and saved often. Now let's talk Persona 5 streaming and videos. Simply put, we don't want the experience to be spoiled for people who haven't played the game. Our fans have waited years for the game to come out and we really don't want and we really want to make sure that they can experience it fully as a totally new adventure. Please read our video and streaming guidelines below. Now this is where it gets problematic. As somebody who's a streamer and a content creator myself, this is kind of like a humongous slap in the face. Please, please do not post any specific plot points or story spoilers, and only talk about the game in broad strokes. A good example? The game deals with dark themes right off the bat, and a with a lecherous teacher and other corrupted individuals. A bad example. Players immediately run into trouble with the pervy teacher, spoiler, whose actions go as far as to cause spoiler. You're more than welcome to talk show confidants, the new combat, the velvet room, dungeons, etc. Just please, please keep in mind that it is a singular story playthrough. Viewers are highly wary of spoilers. It's not a single playthrough story. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Persona games never are a single playthrough story. The story itself, yeah, maybe. But there's always little things here and there that people tend to miss, and they will revisit the game and play it over and over again. So, I'll, dis I'll disagree with you there, Atlas. Please limit video content through week seven, or month seven, week seven. Or no, that is seven seven. Well, whatever seven seven is for that game, I think, I'm assuming that's July 7th. Video content. You can post however many additional videos you'd like, but please limit each to be at least most 90 minutes long. No major story spoilers, and I'll leave that up to your good judgment. If you need some guidelines, avoid showing or spoiling the ending segments of the first three palaces. While you can show initial interactions with Yusuke, avoid his awakening scene and that whole deal about the painting. Also, don't post anything about a certain student investigator. I know I mentioned not showing the end of each palace, but you can grab footage from the Kamoshida boss fight. However, don't capture video from the other major boss fights. You must, foc not, you must not focus solely on cutscenes and animated scenes should prominently... Wait, what? You, you must not focus solely on cutscenes and animated scenes. What you should do should prominently feature dungeon crawling and spending time in Tokyo. You can post straight gameplay or have commentary. Streaming content. This being a Japanese title with a single playthrough story means our masters in Japan are very wary about it. Sharing is currently blocked through our native PS4 UI, however if you do plan on streaming, video guidelines above apply except length. If you decide to stream past 7-7, I highly recommend not doing this you have been warned, you do so at the risk of being issued a content ID claim or worse, a channel strike slash account suspension. That being said, Persona 5 is a super special case for us and we're in ongoing discussions about our policies and how they may evolve in the future, please thank you. Thank you for reading this, and good luck in the metaverse. Now, here's a couple of problems I have with this statement. So they're strictly limiting content creation for their game. Say for somebody like myself, 
I don't own a PS4. I wish I did. I wish I could play Persona 5. I'm a avid, avid fan of the Persona series. Play the shit out of Persona 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, Persona 4 Golden when they was released. Persona 3, um... Shit. I, I, the one that came... Second... The expansion that came out for the PS2 back in the day. When you look at this kind of statement... This is directly targeting content creators and streamers so that they just feel a lot less inclined to stream their game. The fact that you run the risk of having your account taken down if you stream past a certain day, it's like, why would I bother picking this up if I'm a streamer? I'll pick it up to play on my own time, but most streamers, for the most part, they usually don't play what they don't stream anymore. And that's just the nature of things, that's the nature of content creation, that's the nature of YouTube, Twitch, Beam, whatever the case may be. And this is not a good look for Atlas, in all honesty. I, I could understand single playthrough stories and not wanting to spoil it. Nintendo is very big on that as well, but it's like, this is taking it to a whole nother level. You're basically saying you can't stream anything that is important. Meaning, if you're a streamer, you have to either not stream certain parts, or you have to just not stream the game. Because not streaming certain parts, it completely messes with the continuity of your stream. Or if you're a content creator, it messes with the continuity of your video series, should you be making one for this particular game. So it really defeats the purpose of even starting up one at all. Because you want to be able to play it, just go gun through it in a full length and be able to have a humongous amount of content for a game that you avidly support and want other people to play. And here's the thing people need to learn. Just because a story bit may be spoiled doesn't mean that people won't play your game. And this is a humongous problem in the game industry right now. Yes, there will be some people that just don't pick it up. Why? Maybe they don't have the console. Maybe they don't have the money. But they still want to be engrossed in the Persona 5 lore and series. You're basically looking at these people and say, giving them a big old middle finger and forcing them to either get a console, get a copy of the game, find somebody who has it, and then play it yourself. And this is a game that I've been reading, people have been putting hundreds of hours into, when if that's the case, like, you're basically alienating these people who may not be able to have access to the game. People like myself who don't have a PS4 and don't want to shell out three, four hundred dollars for a console just to play a game that they really, really support. And, of course, there's some people that are willing to do so, but I'm not willing to go ahead and do that. I got bills to pay. I have rent to pay. I'm not going to shell out money for a console, um... And then now I can't even keep tabs on the game and watch a playthrough of it, despite the fact that I probably won't be picking up this game anytime soon because of the lack of console. And they're not porting it over to PC to my knowledge either, so it's like, where where's my availability in that? I won't be able to do anything regarding Persona 5, and I'm somebody who supported the SMT series, the Persona series, all of them. I've been a humongous supporter of Atlas games because they're fucking phenomenal. And I'm pretty sure Persona 5 is fucking phenomenal. But the way that they're targeting content creators and streamers is definitely unfair. And I think it should be looked over at least a couple more times so that they can realize just because the game is story heavy and just because it is a story driven game doesn't mean that people won't buy it. It is a humongous title. People will buy it. That doesn't mean you need to alienate uh, streamers and uh, content creators and casters and reviewers because it forces all of us to basically think twice about picking up a title. And I hope that this is not a look as to what's going to be going on in the future with Atlas Games because if that's the case, I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of streamers are just not going to pick up Atlas Games anymore. And that would be a real shame, because it's a great company with great games in their repertoire. But at the end of the day, we do what we do. And they're basically looking at us and saying, 
don't make content with our game. You can make content, but only what we allow you to make. And putting these rules, restrictions, and guidelines onto streamers and content creators, it's fine for when a game's in beta, it's fine for when a game's in alpha, and it's understandable when it's a game in alpha and beta. Afterwards, when it's a full-fledged release, I don't think so. Uh, and hopefully Atlas really does rethink their stance on Persona 5. I would love to see playthroughs of it because I'm not going to be able to pick up a copy anytime soon. Um, and I'm not going to be buying, shelling out a P money for a PS4 just for Persona 5. Um, especially if I'm not going to be able to really see how much I'm going to enjoy this game. So at the end of the day, I don't, I don't know. It's a big hit on Persona 5's popularity, and personally, I think that Atlas looks really bad now in the eyes of a lot of people, a lot of streamers, a lot of YouTubers. So they, they need to tread carefully with how they move forward from this. My name is Cyber Alive, and this is just a breaking news segment regarding Persona 5. You can follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Cyber Owl Live. Instagram as well is also Cyber Owl Live. And you can find me on beam.pro slash cyberhourlive where I will be streaming this week for the beam, th beam theme week. Today was Tropical Tuesday. Tomorrow is going to be onesie Wednesday where I will be playing League of Legends with heroes that have onesies. And then Thursday, Thursday of the Dead, where I will be continuing my Dead Island playthrough, which I had started up today with Tropical Tuesday. I'm going to continue it on Thursday of the Dead. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And... I'll put a link in the description below for this article, and I hope it draws a lot of attention to people because this is not right.